All right, so we're gonna learn real quick uh, the proper way to inspect a Bunsen burner and the proper way to light it. Um, you know, we're gonna be working with gas. Right now, the gas line is off. I know that the gas line is off because it is perpendicular to the nozzle. Either way, if I flip it the other way, notice, again, I don't hear the gas coming out, it's closed. So as long as it's perpendicular, it's closed. If it's parallel, it's gonna be open. So I'm gonna leave it closed for now. Gas is gonna be coming out. We don't want there to be any leaks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our hose doesn't have any cracks. The way that I do that is I grab both ends of the hose and I stretch it a little bit and then I inspect it very quickly. If I can't see any large cracks or cuts, then it's safe and it's going to be okay. That's the first thing you need to do. Next thing, you're going to take your Bunsen burner, you're going to point it at you, the bottom, you see the knob down here, and you're going to turn it clockwise to make sure that it is shut. All right, just until you feel it hit. You don't have to time it, just until it hits. That's gonna close the gas. I always wanna start with a closed Bunsen burner. Then I'm gonna turn it around again so that the barrel is facing me, and I'm also gonna turn it clockwise until it hits. Now I'm ready to connect my Bunsen burner. So I'll take the hose, and I'm gonna push it into the nozzle, just until I can pull on it gently, and it doesn't come off. I'm pulling on it gently and it doesn't come off. All right, the next step is I'm going to turn on my gas. So I'm going to make sure that my gas is completely parallel with the nozzle. My gas is fully on, but notice that I don't hear anything. That's a good thing. No gas is coming out. That means we did a good job closing up Bunsen burner. So now, with our hand on the base, in order to make sure that it doesn't tip over, I'm going to turn the knob to open it until I can hear some gas coming out. I can hear the gas. Now I'm going to close it again real quick because I want to show you how to properly use the striker that we're going to use to light our Bunsen burner. All right, so the striker works by swiping across, creating a spark. In order to get a good spark, you need to pull towards you and pull across. The spark should look like this. That's a good spark. You should be able to do it once, and that should be enough to light your Bunsen burner. So now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to open it until I can hear the gas coming out. Take my striker, and there's my flame. Notice the flame is not too high. The flame is yellow, right? Could you get the lights, please? It's a yellow flame. This is a good beginning flame because a yellow flame is a cool flame and it will take longer to burn me. So this is how I want to start. I, however, don't want to work with a yellow flame in chemistry. I want a blue flame. A blue flame is a hot flame. It's also called a clean flame. So how am I going to get a blue flame? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close it a little bit. Notice that I'm still using the nozzle on the bottom that regulates the gas flow. And notice that I'm able to make my flame become smaller by closing the knob on the bottom. Now to make it a clean flame, a blue flame, I'm going to turn the barrel. The barrel controls the amount of oxygen going into the fire. The more oxygen, the hotter the flame, the bluer the flame. So I'm going to turn the barrel to open it. And you'll notice that the flame's going to start stabilizing and it's going to start turning more blue. You can see how it's turning more blue. Okay, at this point, I'm still not done. I want to hear a roar. Right now, there's like a hissing sound. If you're very quiet, you can hear it. There's a hiss. I want a roar. So I'll continue to open it slowly. <coughs> there's the roar beginning. I want it louder. So again, you can hear the roar, and you can see something now. You can see that there is an outer blue cone, and there is an inner blue cone. That inner blue cone is the hottest part of the flame. The tip of the inner blue cone, that's where the hottest part of the flame is going to be found. This is the, a good flame for chemistry. It burns clean, and it's really hot. So now I did all my work. How do I turn it off? I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what I did to light it. 
I'm going to start off by making it a yellow flame. So it's a cool flame. Again, I put my hand on the bottom to hold the base so it doesn't tip over. And I'm going to close the flow of oxygen, make it a yellow flame. Then I'm going to close the knob down here to extinguish the flame so that there's no more gas coming out. So now everything is closed. I'm going to close the nozzle, making it perpendicular, the, the gas flow. And then uh, putting my two fingers, thumb and the pointer finger, I'm going to roll the hose off. Notice that I'm not pulling it. That's how we get cracks. I'm rolling it off until it just comes off. And that's how you properly light a Bunsen burner.